Welcome back to the channel and today we're looking at the Revel 135th uh, Armoured Scout Vehicle P204F which is the German designation of the French armoured car which is known as the Panhard. It's got quite a lot of different designations but it's all basically the same vehicle and this kit really comes from the same line which is all out of ICM. So ICM have done the whole range and then they've been re-released by Tamiya and Revel in certain boxings and this uh, just happens to be the Panzer variant. Um, and obviously with Revel uh, it, makes, it means it's more accessible and cheaper. Uh, there you can see a sort of breakdown of what you've got in there. This one was £12 at a show, so you really can't go wrong with that, whereas the ICM kit retails it um, quite a lot, of, well, quite a higher price than that. This was models for sale, and it's £12, as you can see there, so pretty good. You can't um, argue with that for a state-of-the-art kit, so let's get inside and have a look what we've got. So starting with the instructions, we'll just have a quick run-through just so we can see. You've got the usual stuff from Revell there. All their call-outs are their um, paint brand with strange mixes to get the right colours. It's a bit... It can be a bit iffy. Um, there's the parts breakdown, so it gives you an idea of the sprues we're going to get. We've got rubber tyres in this one, and um, it does have a full interior and engine, this kit. So, as you can see, quite conventional, all comes together, building up the interior, the engine, and getting all of that done with the firewall in the back there. And um, sidewall details as well on the internal parts, and then you actually build up the frame and start covering the engine deck. I may uh, look to open up some of this I think. Um, I've got some images from uh, some German vehicles used in Barbarossa and you can see uh, you know how there's plenty of opportunity for them to be opened up so if it's easy enough I may open some but I'm not going to worry too much about it. So as you can see here going on with the um, suspension and joining on the wheels looks like quite a good join there we've got a squared off piece of bar that it fits in. If you're wondering what this is, I've literally just come back from Bovington today where I picked this kit up, so that's my armband. Um, then we've got the smaller parts going together here and then starting on the turret again with the same good full interior in there, or looks full anyway, I'm not sure whether there are parts missing. I know there's some update sets on this, but I mean, oh, it's not something I'd be looking at myself. This is the scheme that gets me, I know it's sort of German grey and it can be thought of as a little bit boring. But for me, this um, represents, if you know the Panzer Modeling Masterclass book from Tony Greenland, he's got one of these in here, an old Aussie Mitt kit, I think it is, a resin kit. Oh, it's always struck me. I used to look at that when I was um, very young. So I didn't realise this was out because it's under, he calls it a Panhard. But obviously, uh, I, after doing some research, it's the same vehicle. So that's the one I'll be doing. And this is a Barbarossa one for Russia 1941-42. And then we've got a more colourful scheme camo scheme there uh, with um, dark yellow, dark brown and dark green uh, which is an anti-partisan role in France 1944. And one of the plus points with getting the Revel boxing is you've arguably got some better de decals there. Uh, very crisp white, the carrier film is right around the cross um, and uh, obviously not very many markings there but um, generally the Revel decals are printed by Cartograph and the ICM decals can be a little bit tricky sometimes so it's a good way around it getting the Revel boxing. And then just to prove the point we've got a uh, code down here and it's obviously not manufactured by Revel. It's a typical ICM package that you'd get straight out of their boxes right into a Revel box. So having a look at the masses of sprues all bundled together we get the usual problem that we get when this happens. Parts break off. But at least it's all in one bag, so it's not going to go too far. We're not going to worry about uh, looking at the different packaging types. Now, interestingly, looking at this one, you've got two turrets here. And as we go through the rest of the parts, I'm not sure how much of this um, crosses over. So you may, from this boxing, like I said, it's a lot cheaper than the ICM stuff. It may just come down to a set of decals or uh, markings to make any of the options you want. I know they do a rail car, so that's obviously different. The wheels are separate sprue in this, but these generic sprues, you've got both turrets. So I'm guessing you'll be able to do the French version as well and quite a few of the French variants all on the one sprue. So it's worth bearing in mind. But you can see it's a very crammed brew with the two turrets with nice bolt detail, raised surface detail there. You've got the um, two halves there for the main cannon. Um, so you need to obviously think about the seam line and, and getting rid of that. But it should mean that the end is hollowed out and it's that one of those flared uh, cannon ends. And you've got main parts for the chassis, building up where the wheels go. Some of the interior detail parts as well. These are some of the um, ammo uh, boxes. 
and all all in all looks a very nice package over this um, things like this we've got large sprue gates on the steering wheels you may need to look out for when you're taking those off but overall it looks very good then next up we've got the side walls and the um, bottom side of the obviously the chassis or the actual interior part um, and then the two sides come together as well we haven't got ejector pin marks where there's raised detail but we have where there's no detail so it might be that a panel goes on there or a section goes on um, something to think about but overall it looks pretty good to be honest um, we've got the leaf springs molded in uh, already which should mean life's a little bit easier there and we've also starting to get parts for the engine here as well so that's the main block there in two halves and it looks like most of the doors are posable as well which is ideal for this I, i'll be opening up as much as i can i think uh, then on this sprue this is where we've lost these fenders so we'll pop them back in there for the sake of the review and this is all of the internal bits as well as um the parts for the superstructure as well so you've got a rear deck uh, where you can open one side it looks like they've given you the option for and then you've got the section for the turret as well and the interior floor that's got the raised detail with the tread pattern on there and the firewalls as well with built-in fan it all looks um very detailed and it looks as though they've fought through the build process and molded things where they can to save uh, some difficult building i guess it, that's what it looks like to me like getting the fan in there and i'm all for that when you're looking through the hatch i mean you don't need it to be all um over the top then we've got the sprue with the large wheels um, and they are open at the back i imagine these two parts go in the back here that's what they're for so they're the backs of the wheels they're the front um, and then these go hand in hand with the rubber tires which you've got some there on screen and i'll just have a closer look at these myself as i talk about them so what we've got is no seam line running around the tread pattern and very nice tread pattern actually but we do have a seam and only the one seam on one edge uh, on the corner there so as we look at that there's a there's a rim of sort of flash just on that corner which is you know about as good as you can get with it really uh, the trouble is i don't think you're going to really be able to do anything else than run around with a knife on that edge and this is what we're talking about here just got this flash there it's very hard there you can see it i think because you've got the profile there which is quite sharp and then here you've obviously got it a room of flash all around there it's got to go somewhere i guess having it there is better than having it in the middle with a tread pattern like this so i think it'd just be a case of running around with the knife trying to get that off i'm even starting to lift it away using my nail there actually uh, there are resin wheels out in the market so that might be something to look at so there we go that is the 135th armored scout vehicle p204f or panhard is as we've discussed um from ICM Stroke Revel. Now, I think that that is a pretty good boxing. Now, I know I've got this at a show price for uh, £12, which is obviously extremely good value for what you get in the box. Um, I am seeing this on eBay around the £16 mark, which again is just incredible value anyway. So I was, I was going to get that one. That's been in the uh, basket for an awfully long time, but I just haven't sort of got around to ordering it. And then to see this at £12, it was it was a no-brainer for me. And uh, incidentally, I got two. I got one for a friend, and by the time I'd gone back around an hour later, they were all gone. So other people realised as well. So perfect um, little package. Uh, something you might easily skip past and not really understand what's in the box. So it's worth looking at these uh, sort of videos for that. So hopefully this has been of interest. If you like what you see, please consider uh, giving the video a like. If you want to stay tuned and see more from uh, the channel then please uh, hit the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video